Stone, S-T-O-N-E. Uh, I am the director of the Sisters of the Holy Rock. Today we, we do fundraising, uh, primarily fundraising, and uh, uh, if somebody is interested in a fundraiser, be it for their church or for their organization, they can book us and we will do a concert for them. When I heard about them, I had this idea that, they, oh my Lord, they're really corny. They have people who dress up like Willie Nelson. And the people who are telling me about it are telling it kind of like, whoa, it was really great. And in the back of my mind, I'm going, oh my Lord, this sounds terrible. I had seen a, uh, a VHS of, uh, of their, one of their performances, and I saw these guys dressed as nuns. I think, oh, what the hell, it looks like a lot of fun. This is not just a choir standing up singing. But we're, we're labeled now as an entertainment group. When you're, when you're on the risers and looking out at the audience, you're seeing them loving it and enjoying it and laughing so hard they're crying. In the humor sense, it's just a way of um, connecting. I think people have that kind of idea of what it is and that we're just going to be standing there all prim and proper singing hymns or something. <laughs> I very seldom miss a bus trip because I like it. You know, there's lots of food. Oh, that's what the milk does in the middle. We like to sit at the back of the bus. It reminds me of when you're a teenager and you're on a bus trip going somewhere. We just revert right back to that. We become little girls. We saw that. I'm giving her drugs. Okay, she's giving me drugs. You have to, you have, you have to go in there with the new drugs. Okay, go with it. You lose go like this. It's liquid gravel. For those of us who get bus sick. I don't throw up all over the place. Way from alto to soprano. So it starts on the alto okay. side. All right, and then read this. Way from, yeah, way from all the from soprano. left left tip to right hip. Yeah. Arms move from okay that you know what that's my mirror image sorry. So that's right. Well, there are times when you get a little disgruntled for whatever reason. And the world. Practice is good. We're working like crazy trying to get everything straightened out. And you know we're just not very fast learners. Okay. And the world. And the world will be a. Just the basis, please, guys. Okay? Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's okay, because um, I think they're having a little trouble. Oh. So from End the World... The singers have all got an ego, as I have. Okay, let the words... Real short when you're the director, you English. don't always yeah. win a popularity contest. Yeah. Um, you just try your hardest. And let the words of our mouth... Okay. There are uneven paces that you're going to come across. And maybe you don't like the particular song, maybe you don't like the part you have to sing, maybe you don't appreciate the amount of time you spend on learning a song. You do the same? She don't want to to it. When you're dealing with this many people, you can't, you can't please everybody. Oh, it, Carol, Carol's an excellent leader. 
uh, she uh, she gets a little flustered once in a while because people don't listen to her. You know, like sometimes you'll she'll try and get people's attention, and next thing you know, there's a whole bunch of people yapping away, and she gets a little upset. Stop listening to me. Okay, when you're ready, let me know. We're very good. We behave ourselves. <laughs> Well, sometimes we get the look. Now, um, holy Dinah. <laughs> My new swim line cell phone went automatic freedom. I thought I'd get the look for skating that for you last week. Excuse me, I'm on the phone. <laughs> if you make a mistake up, you get the look like this. You know? I haven't had a look for a few years now. Gee whiz, I miss it. <laughs> We like you know chit chat and and uh, sometimes uh, we read and sometimes somebody will start singing. The girls we belong to be a ball. Traveling in our world. That's it with all the fun. We're dedicated nuns. Goodbye, you girls we belong. Me Did anybody tell you the story about how we got stopped by the Mounties? Okay, turn the camera off, I'll tell you. Well, we were coming back, we did two shows. When we finished, you know, everybody would drink, would maybe bring a little something to drink. All of a sudden, this RCMP officer comes, and uh, he decides that we were, the bus driver was speeding. And he goes, are you guys drinking here? And we said, no. <laughs> you, could it, you could probably smell. He said, everybody is to get rid of it. And I was really ticked, so I phoned the RCMP, and I wanted to speak to public relations. I said, and you know, he was very rude to us. I just want maybe somebody to talk to him and uh, make him aware, you know, don't mess with the seniors. girlfriend who is a, was a real nun and um, when she first saw the group um, I think they felt that we had crossed some lines we were singing at a particular church when they I don't know if they they must have seen it before and they asked us not to do rivers of Babylon because they thought that was disrespectful because it is totally related to scripture. So they asked us not to do it, which is fine. That's their, their prerogative. So some may be a little bit offended, but hopefully they all, all know that it's for a good reason. We're having fun, we're not making fun of. We totally respect the religious order and we do not want to offend anybody.
over the years now, it really is like family. So then we turn this it on. feeds me. It really does. And it just it takes you out of some of the struggles. It takes you out of a bad day. And just what, since I've been here, there have been a lot of human tragedy. In not, I mean, it's just the life cycle. When I came, when I came to the sisters, my wife was in a handicapped position. I lost my wife in January. You can only take pills for so long, and then the system just gives out and doesn't function anymore. And that's what happened to my wife. That we would have been married uh, 54 years in September, and. You just can't replace somebody you lived with for 54 years. It doesn't work. And as good a friend as you may think you find, male or female, you never replace that one. Never. So I'm fortunate at this time I have a lady friend who has been very, very good to me. But she's not my wife. And she'll never be my wife. So anyhow. That's the way it is. When uh, a relative or, a, you know, the a mother or a father or an uncle of one of the sisters dies, passes away, and we're asked to sing at a funeral, and you'll see maybe 30 sisters there singing at a funeral, you know, for, for support. When my mother died, you know, see, I still get tears about it. Um, they were, I asked them if they could sing at the funeral. It humbled me to think that I was liked, you know, so much that so many people would come. All these activities that I have are uh, outlets for the anguish that I would subject myself to if I were alone. Because you can't look at a picture of your wife without crying. You can't look at the clothes that are still hanging in the cupboard without feeling that she's still there. You can't. Her little bottle of perfume is still on the dresser. And every day I just put a little squirt in the, in the room you can't live without that. You need that every day. My stepdaughter died, and uh, sometimes it's really hard to know what to say to somebody that's lost a child or has lost a husband or a wife. But just knowing that they're thinking about you is, is really heartwarming. It encourages you to, you know, come on, you know, keep going. You know, you've lost your wife, but you've got us, okay? Don't feel you're ever alone. You've got us. You got a need, come to us. These are the kinds of feelings you get when you're with a group like this. Everybody helps each other. We're there. We're there immediately if, if there's a problem, um, and it's it's just like a family. It really is. We're, we become very good friends, and everybody gets along great. And it's the kind of people that come into this group that makes it unique. Yeah.
proclamation. Yes. Give me Jesus on the line. Whoa, operator. Operator. Information. Information. I'd like to speak to. I'd like to speak to. A friend of mine. A friend of mine. Oh. I think until you're in your 50s, you don't even think it's going to happen to you. And then one day I look in the mirror and go, who are you? What happened to you, right? I think most of the seniors in the group, they just can't believe what they are doing up there. I didn't think I'd ever make it to 49, let alone 79. These people are not slowing down. Are you going to drop the bomb or not? It just again comforts me to know that you don't have to you don't have to age and be boring and and you know end up sitting in a wheelchair somewhere you don't have to do that when I see some of the original members get up on stage they stand there for 90 minutes they learn the choreography they learn the notes they I have nothing but admiration and hoping that 17 from years from now I'll be still up on stage singing my heart out Some of them can't do the whole show. It's just too much. But again, one of the things I love about this is, so what? I'm hoping that I'll be one of the ones that has to sit out when I'm 80. I hope that's, that's what happens for me. There's a lot of people that are in their 80s. And you know, to go up there and stand for an hour and a half, that's pretty enduring. It heartens me to think that I'm going to, you know, hopefully I can be like them. They don't want to quit. One lady who was 80, I said to her, you know what, if your legs are really bothering you, you know why bother, you know? And she said, if I quit, I would die. I think, I think the camaraderie and just getting out and being active does actually keep you young. If you, I, I can remember when I was 35 or 40, I thought 80 years old, my God, that's ancient, but I don't feel ancient. I know the day will come when, uh, how can I say this now? Uh, I don't want to go beyond the time where I'm not going to do the job. I think you get my point, right? You know, that I'm not doing it good and I'm still hanging in there. 
as long as you're happy with me, I'll do my practicing at home. Come and play. I love it. <laughs>